Every time, I don't know, man. Hi. Hey. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing uh, Mario goes to the movies and can't decide what he wants to choose. And so he just kind of cycles through everything. He's been here for hours now. It's kind of embarrassing. No ribbons or star on the backboard. So we are going right to the bathroom where I'm pretty sure I've at, like I've done everything I could in every level there, right? So we are going to be disclosing a Bowser face, I think, and then we'll see what happens. That is the summary of what might happen today. I don't know. Doesn't matter. A little bit. 25 stars out of 120. We're getting there. I see you're good. No crowns. You got crowned. Oh, you got crowned. No cr Oh, that's interesting. So, it created the extra star, but like, like if I go here... Like, is there a... Is there a comet winning for me? Like, I can see that comet shape hole. Oh, but is there one? But there isn't one. So, there's a comet hole. A comet will be there. Just not yet. Not until the game decides I'm ready. Fair enough! Whoa! Bowser head inside was Bowser head. The Bowser star reactor. Yeah, you can see there on the little, like, thumbnail preview. They got suns on top of towers. That's how you know things are getting serious. Alright, here we go. The fiery stronghold. The... That... That's the name you give a level. Oh, this looks funky. I love it. Like, that just looks like... I saw that blonde. Hey, the song. All right, here we go. Go into this pipe. Yeah, we are Bowser in the space world. Uh, all right, what do you want, Luma? I'm gonna talk to you. I can feel a grand star. Me too. This place is filled with all kinds of traps. Oh, don't worry about it, buddy. Boy, 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 boy. All right, look at this like sweet like ribbon of metallic plates that are. You have these nails, these screws, but like, what are these screws to space itself? Maybe. Honestly, I will believe you if that is what you claim. All right, fire your bars are pretty. That's flood. All right, flood is on fire, and Swamp has things to share with the family. Good times. Is there anything on top of you? I don't know. Like, I just that was my first instincts. Is there something on top? Whoa. Okay. Oh boy, this is all right. We're in 2D world now. I'm trying to go up. Maybe the gravity here is all out. No kidding. Check out the arrows. It's a good thing we got arrows. All right, and here you jump to the purple. Can you triple jump from a standstill? No, it looks like you can only double jump from a standstill, which you know is pretty normal. I mean, maybe the gravity is all out of whack because you got like five local tiny black holes. Which honestly, like, some black holes out there are not that big. Uh, they don't need to be huge. That Bowser head upside down looks super weird. There we go. Hey, look at that. I guess I get loom. All right, here we get a little ram to tell us what is going on. Meanwhile, we can clock with a song. Or, whoa. All right, so can I jump? Like, I'm allowed to jump, right? Yeah, I yeah. am. All right, there we go. All right, tower. Here we go. Now it's looking like a castle. Hey, Swamp. Good thing there's light directly on top of you, so I can tell where Shadow is. That's handy. All right, so you're getting money down there or if you're hurt. I'm not yet. These, these fireballs cast a shadow, which is... I remember asking about that. Does fire cast a shadow? I think it does. Anyways, this is... Whoa! Bowser's here! Real Bowser! Not his child. They're finally he's taking me seriously as he's destroying the land. Uh, Alright, I'll take the second to get... Yeah, that, that, that. Looks like these are not, like, just instantly shattering to pieces. Uh, like, they don't seem to be shattering at all. Like, yeah, they look mighty cracked, but, you know, nothing I've never experienced before. Then we're gonna focus on the sun. Yeah, high noon in space. Oh, those are gonna be like the bombs in uh, 64, aren't they? I'm gonna throw Bowser in the sun. Oh, that's funny to think about. All right, I would rather you didn't, but I'm glad that you're warning me. Oh, geez. Do you affect gravity? Bowser, how'd you do that? Okay, no, I guess we're not maybe gonna crash into this. All right, you wanna do, ooh. 
So you got the ring powers. Okay. Oh, look at that! You idiot! You just hurt yourself. Okay, so make him mad. Cause he's gonna. Or maybe I'm supposed to like get you or something. Cause yeah, like you got like you got your your tail is all red. Uh. Okay. How am I going to accomplish that? Did you get better? You just got better. All right. Okay. So maybe I missed my chance. I don't know. I'm gonna stay there. You're gonna land on that capsule. Releasing. All right. So yeah, you're gonna land on the glass. You're gonna hurt yourself again. I'm gonna run out of control everywhere. Oh, that's right. That's right. Uh, gonna hit you in the face. Uh, oh, you don't like that, huh, Bowser? Well, I don't blame you. I also wouldn't like it. All right. Now you're just going fireball, which is a lot smarter. Did the glass thing you shattered like repair itself? Maybe, because like I'm not seeing any holes anymore. All right, so, so I don't need to hit him in the tail necessarily, as long as I hit him. It looks like. Oh, doesn't matter though. All right, no, 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 no. You're rolling. Wow, you are just shell spinning all over town. Okay, but this is like transparent. Give me a chance to keep you into view. Uh, Oh, you're so mad, though. And the space is so red. Uh, where'd all these star bits come from? That's my question to you, Bowser. All right, all right, doing my leap here, though. But yeah, you're you're stomping there, and you know, you're making these nice laser hoops. And you know, they are looking pretty. You like pseudo dodge there. That was pretty impressive. Oh, then we both got hurt. Stupid Bowser, you fool. All right, then you're spinning right at me like a fool. I'm gonna spin to you again. The old double spin. Oh, with such impact, I launched myself out of the planetoid. <laughs> oh man, this is really rad. Oh, come on, Bowser. This is like the 300th time this happens. Yeah, I mean, I am in the process of stopping you. Like, yeah, you're gonna run away now. I'm gonna catch up though, you know this. I know you have pattern recognition. And the Grand Star was inside that blobby orb all this time. Where else would you hide it, right? Exactly. I'm full of eggs too. Not accurate. <laughs> what? <laughs> I did it, I got a Grand Star. It is mine now, to keep. And to consolidate into my LLC. Here we go! Here we go, Space Witch! It's yours! Uh, make the range of your space, space, grow. It's now green. Green is a nice, healthy color. I don't know if it's a nice, healthy color for um, a sun, though, but that's fine. Looks like we're opening up this little building here. Alright. Look how proud that Mario is. That little gnome, it's like, yeah, and galaxy is complete. Not the world, though, just that galaxy. Bowser's own, the only, oh, yeah, new was just discovered. That's right, it's right there. It's like missing, wait, a star, I saw that silver ribbon, though. Don't think I didn't see it. Skewed another grand star, yeah, that's right. That's the plan. No, I know, I know, I'm gonna have to go through all six, I'm aware. Whoa, those Luma, what are they doing? Out there in public like that? Crazy. Uh-huh, yeah, you, get to, you, get, you gotta get to the eye. That's always what you do in space. You, you get to the center. Uh-uh-uh-uh. Then you can reunite with your special one. Sounds great. I will save. With great effort. I will pick a rock and... Look at that. See, like, look at that. Right here. Right here. We got a little silver ribbon. We gotta return. So red is speedrun. Blue is just like race with Shadow Mario. Uh, let's see what silver is. You gotta get second place in a contest and get the silver medal. If you, if you do more, you're an overachiever and no one likes you. So you gotta, you gotta find the, the balance into things. Uh, look at that, right here, right on Battle Rock. Yeah, Daredevil Comet is right there. Gonna crash into the base that I've uh, thoroughly exploded yesterday. All right. Yeah, I know. Tell me what silver means, please. Uh, Daredevil Run. That's all it says. Top Maniacs Daredevil Run. 
Daredevil. Is that no hit? Is that no hit? That might be... No hit was a thing in 3-mix, I'm pretty sure. It was like silver coins and no hit. Oh, and it's just the boss, so it's like... No hit. Yeah, I got one life, and I'm hitting right for that. And I, it, it's just shortcutting me right to the boss. Good, good going. <laughs> oh, and that counts regarding lives and whatnot. Okay. All right. All right, so sales guy isn't here anymore. That makes sense. When, I I thought I hit that laser wall, but then a cutscene happened and now I'm inside, so that's nice. Yeah, they don't cause harm. They cause charm. So good. I'm, I, that's not even true. I just made that up. Whoa, there we go. Yeah, yo, buddy. I love the little buddies though. They are adorable. All right, there you go. I don't know why I have so much trouble like aiming my flaps today. There you go. Yeah, you get out of my face. You get- Whoa! I'm blue! And the star is gold. I guess it doesn't matter if I'm blue. <laughs> okay, you know what? That's probably smart. Make the... Um, Daredevil introduction. The boss that never hurts you. <laughs> like, that's honestly pretty smart. Good on you. You figured it out. Uh... All right, yeah, that's my star bit. Resonance library has open. Oh, what? What's this about? Okay. Like, I would have time to uh, maybe do a first level in World 3, but people who know me know that I like to have my things nice and compartmentalized. So let's take this as an opportunity to check out what's up with this library I've heard about. Is that the thing behind me? Like, I saw a building that looked an awful library light right next to World 3. Like, maybe I'm wrong here, but... Uh, let's check that out real quick. I see, like, you got the world is up there. Is that, like, like pineapple up there? Oh, look at that. There's all these comfortable seats. Yeah, honestly, you're not even sitting on it. I think it's wasted on you. No, I have not. Uh, is that the future that's coming ahead of me? All right, thank you. Hey, just because you're so nice to me. There you go. Was he particularly nice? Oh, wow. So Rosalina can be separate places at once. I'm not surprised. All right, well, here's the library. Chapter one. The Celestial Duo. Oh, this is lore time. Our story begins a very, very long time ago with a young girl. One day, this girl spotted a rusted spaceship holding a small star child. As it does. Oh, geez. What's your name? Are you lost? The girl asked the star child. I'm Luma, and I'm waiting for Mama. She's coming for me on a comet, said the star child, who had been waiting day and night. And it's leaking right now. Don't worry, I'll wait with you, the little girl promised Luma. Whoa! Got this telescope! At nightfall, the little girl borrowed her father's telescope and peered into the sky. She looked and looked, but she saw nothing. Hours turns into days, and then years, but still the sky revealed nothing. This is sad. Finally, little girl sighed. <laughs> Finally, years later, <laughs> sighed and said to Luma, If we stay here looking much longer, I'll be an old lady soon. But then, she had an idea. Why don't we go out there and find your mother ourselves? Hopefully she's, she has a long lifespan. The girl and Luma fixed up the rusty spaceship and then the two set sails into the starry sky. And this is how the search for the Celestial Mother began. Oh, wow. I... Do we get, like, one of these every world? Uh, because this did this felt like an end. And then it's just, like, starting anew. Star bits. This is so cool, though. Days pass with no sight of the comet or even a single planet. Instead, asteroid extended for as far as the eye could see. 
If I had known it was going to take this long, I would have packed more jam, said the little girl above the rumble of her belly. Is she a little girl now, though? Like, years happen. I don't know what, maybe it's like two years it happened, considering she still has a pet bunny. A stuffed bunny. Before they left, she had packed all the essentials. Telescope, butterfly net, stuffed bunny, bread, milk, jam, and apricot flavored tea. But... Whoa, candy. I forgot to bring water. At this, Luma burst into gales of laughter and the girl began to pout. As long as I have star bits, I'll be fine, said Luma. Want some? The little girl couldn't stay mad after hearing this. It does look like candy the size of her head. Luma continued to laugh and the girl couldn't help but join in. All right. Maybe just a nibble. Then she died trying to eat pure plasma. That's not true, I made that part out. Leaning far out of the ship, the pair began to collect star bits with the girl's net. They almost fell out a few times, but they kept on collecting. The star bits tasted like honey. I knew they'd be sweet. Of course they'd be sweet. Yeah, so next world we're gonna get the next part. I get to decide when we got enough, Rosalina! I want more! Okay, and I could, like, get that going on my own. Can I burn my pointer? No. No, I can't. Can I see what's in the portraits? Ooh, wait a second, I do have a... Oh, but it won't let me. Ah, man! See, like, I'm genuinely curious what's up with those portraits, but... Like, clearly, one of them is just... Red stars on a yellow background. There's Rosa and, um, Pink Twilight. The other two I can't tell. And then the circle ones on top, I genuinely can't tell. I don't think they have, like, any, any pretend texture at all. So you gotta take what you gotta got. Next time! There was a bit of a squeak there. Next time, World 3.